Stories on that freak, a production of Kwasambia African TV, bridging Africa to the world. This show is brought to you by Mama Lee's Kitchen Food and Services, where you can get the best African food. Pickups, delivery available. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Kwasambia African TV. This is Frank Tucker Ebal. Today, I'm receiving a special guest. Uh, we're going to talk about something very special and unique. Welcome again to Kwasambia African TV. We are in uh, Thomas Sankara studio right here in Omaha, Nebraska, United States. I would like to welcome my guest today. Uh, I have Lydia Apia. Lydia, hello, how are you doing? Good, and you? Excellent. Welcome. Nice to meet you too. Excellent. All right, ladies and gentlemen, once again, we are here in uh, Horizon Africa, a program of course and Beer African TV. We are broadcasting out of Omaha, Nebraska. And today we're talking about something special. We're talking about food, right? I know you like it. We're talking about food. Today we're going to talk about a culinary journey, something very unique and special to you, uh, Lydia, uh, known as Mama Lee's yeah. Kitchen Food and Services. Talking, talk, talk to us about your, your journey with food and restoration. How did that start? Well, uh, I like to cook. Right. Yeah. And we, we started this most more like in back home in Ghana. Right. And um, I was here in 2012 when I got married to join my husband here. Right. So, I mean, it's really hard to get um, African food to eat here. It's really hard. And I quite remember like if you want to go out there to eat in any restaurant, you can't even get it. So, we have been doing this, and then we said, no, let's bring the kitchen here. Now, now Lydia, let, let me stop you right there, because I, I want to make sure that our viewers today uh, uh, understand what's going on. We're talking about you bringing Ghana's cuisine in the heart of America, in Omaha, Nebraska, right? I mean, tell us about, I mean, how has this experience been? How did, how did that impact the people here? How, how have the people received your cuisine here in Omaha? I mean, um, almost everybody that ordered the food, they really like it because it's, it's a good food. Right. So in weddings, birthday parties, graduations, almost every program, right. people can even order food. We have some guys that are in here that their wives in back home and all that, singles. And some of the people to have got married to like white people, right. so they are not able to cook the food for them. Right. So once they call us, the kitchen is always cooking, it's always open, and right. we try to cook something for them, and they really like the food. So for me, I can say it's really helping our city of Umar. Right. Thank you so much. So Lydia, uh, I want to get more personal about, about this because uh, one thing we do at Kwasampia African TV is we want to showcase uh, some of the talents that Africa is bringing here to the United States. And, and Mama Lee's Kitchen, uh, from what I hear so far, is one of you know, Omaha's tests, right? And people like your food, and that's why we have him here today. So c can you tell us what is unique about your cuisine? What is unique about Ghana's cuisine, exactly? The thing that makes our food um, unique is everything is natural. We try to use our natural ingredient that we have. So once you get a taste, you can testify that this, this is made from natural ingredient. Right, natural And it's, it's really uh, um, cooked in our kitchen, like fresh ve vegetables, everything is fresh. Right. We don't have like frozen, frozen things. No, everything is being fresh and it's really made fresh and you get it. Right. Yeah. So, so if, if, I was, if I was to, you know, visit Mama Lee's kitchen right now, what would be that dish that would be the signature dish for your restaurant? I can I can really say almost all the dishes are signature <laughs> food. Right. Yeah, uh, because uh, if we are talking about African food, we have jollof rice, right. we have wache, we have kenke, banku, and fufu. We have a piece. Now, now let me ask you this question because you, you, you mentioned jollof rice and, and I love jollof rice. Okay. But it is, there's always been this argument about Nigeria's jollof rice and Ghana's. Which one is the best? I would say Ghana. Seriously. I would say Ghana jollof rice. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> right. So, you know, while, while we, we're talking about um, Mama Lee's, um, could you please t t tell us how, how, you know, t talk to us about your beginnings. You know, here in Nebraska, yes, you, you started, you know, um, you know, offering some of your food and, and graduations, you know, and, and personal ceremonies and things like that. So how did you sit down and, and come up with, you know what, let me actually start this and make it an actual restaurant? Um, 
you know, when you talk about the life here, it's not easy, like you being a mom, right. going out there every day to work and all that. I mean, the, it's, you, you just have to just sit down and figure yourself out, like, what you want to do. Right. And what you have passion for. Right. Because I'm in a healthcare too, but once you sit down, you, you, you can really tell that you have interest in something. Right. And I have interest in cooking. Right. So, for we being here that we are not from here, that we don't get the food that we really like to eat here. Right. Then we started to put things together. Right. To get, it's like t thinking about the people in America here, right. the African people in America here. How can we also help them to get something to eat? That's right. Even though that we are not in back home, the food shouldn't mix out. So right. we have to bring the food in right. here too. So that, br that brings me to this question though. What relationship, relationship do you see between food and culture? What is it about food and African culture? The f if I want to talk about the food and African culture, yes. no, we, we, are, we, we have uh, West people and we have South people and our food is different. Right. So once we go for programs, you see different, different, different food and different culture. So you have to be open-minded to try certain food, right. to know more about different cultures. Right. So once we are taking this food out there, it's even binding with the Africans together, right. knowing each other, knowing our food, right. Because if I have not been to Kenya or Zimbabwe or whatever before, now that we are in America and we go to programs, I should be able to try your food. You should be able to try my food. Absolutely. And we are all one people. Right, indeed. One people, indeed. So um, I know, uh, you know, from living here in Nebraska that um, uh, we have a growing African community, mm -hmm. right? And, and we're talking about second, third generations of Africans. And how has the response been? I mean, are your people supporting your, your initiative and how, how are the people talking about it? Well, um, almost all the Ghanaian people, they like the food. Right. Even people that are not from Ghana too, they like the food. Right. Yeah, they all like the food. So I can say everybody's positive about it. Right. Yeah. So, so uh, yeah, the, the food is great. And, and um, you know, how, how, do you, how do you conciliate the food and the actual uh, atmosphere like you know I, I like to walk into a restaurant and I like to feel the vibe what's what, what's the vibe at Mama's Lee's kitchen the vibe is once you enter the kitchen there is such, there are some aromas they like no you feel to eat <laughs> you can't tell like I'm, I'm full no right you really want something to eat because right. this is cooking this is cooking and the place is smelling really good and we always make the food smells good that people will Appetizing. Right. Now, talk, talk to us about the hours of operation. I mean, when are you open? When do you close? And well, uh, anytime you call us, because people go to mornings, people go to night, and all that. So we are always available. Right. So whenever you call us, the food is ready. Even if it's not ready, you tell us we make it ready. Excellent. Yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, once again, we are here at Quas and Pierre African TV. We are in Horizon Africa, a program of. Uh, Quas and Pierre African TV, of course, in the studio, Thomas Sankara here in Omaha. And we, we are receiving here Lydia Apia. She's the owner of Mama Lee's Kitchen and Food Services here in Omaha, Nebraska. We're talking about a culinary journey, bringing Ghana's cuisine to the heart of America here in Omaha, Nebraska. So, uh, Lydia, talk to us about um, uh, the people that work with you. Uh, I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm assuming it's a team working with mm -hmm. you, right? How is the people, uh, you know, what, what, how's people feeling? What's the people, you know, what makes you a perfect team right there to produce this food? Well, uh, one thing that we have learned since we, we've been in this country is um, teamwork. Right. Everything is about teamwork. And then you being the leader, you have to be positive. Right. The way you can get along with people is very important. Right. So we try to get along with our customers. We try to get along with everybody that we want to work with. Right. Because at the end of the day, it's about job, but it's about love. That's right. So I we try that. to wow. demonstrate everything that we can do to grow um, this business. You know right. what I mean? Right. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, I can definitely feel the love in the food already. <laughs> I, mean, I, I bet you I'm going to stop there for sure. <laughs> now, Lydia, talk, talk to us about... Um, you know, how, how do you, th this is all about entrepreneurship, right? And this one thing we do at Quas and Beer, African TV, we, we want to inspire, we want to motivate our people uh, within the communities to, 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 to you know, to, to get into entrepreneurship. And this is what you're doing. So c can you talk to us about your experience as, you know, an entrepreneur woman here, an African entrepreneur here in, in Omaha? How, how are you able to manage your life with um, Mama Lee's Kitchen and your own life here? 
Well, um, it's not easy. It's not easy, but everything is um, determination. Right. Once you determine to do something, you'll be able to accomplish it. So it's not easy, even in the cooking itself. Right. How you can go out there to do your groceries in order to put things together, even to get a part of something, it's not easy. Right. It's been a challenging, like, if you have to cook something and it doesn't even come out really good. Right. That is not the end. You tell yourself like, hey, you just you gotta shake it off. Right. And then you move on. Right. So we try to do that to put things together for people. Right, right. Now, uh, you know, uh, I do understand and, and, you know, and most of our viewers will share here that uh, the journey of entrepreneurship is, ne you know, is never an easy journey. And, and some talk about a secret. Do, do you think there's ever a secret in entrepreneurship? If so, what's your secret? What do you think well, will be your secret? What, what I would say about that is the, you being an entrepreneur, you have to be a risk bearer. Right. Sometimes it's hard to go for something. Let's say you get in a place to cook. Right. You don't even know who is coming to buy the food. Right. And look at the rent here and all that. But I say to myself that you can even use the profit that you think is profit that you have to save that money to pay the rent. Right. And then once the business is moving, you get that money in there. Right. So it's not easy for you being an entrepreneur. It's, it's not easy. So don't let fear conquer you. Do not let fear conquer you. If fear, you can't do anything because even this restaurant thing that you want to do, when you look at it, you think like it's white people community. Right. It's not easy. Right. But you tell yourself, right now people are going to Africa. So once they go there and they try their food, they come back and they are looking for it. So imagine if fear conquers us and we are not able to cook the food. Right. That means the African food is not anywhere. Right. So we being the Africans here, being an entrepreneur people, we try to stay away from fear. Stay away from fear. Yeah. Thank you so yeah. much, Lydia. And, and put our and things together. Exactly. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much again. And, and again, we continue this conversation with Lydia Apia, known as Mama Lee's Kitchen. She's uh, uh, the one bringing the, the, the cuisine and the, the, the food, the dishes of Ghana, Western Central Africa, to, to, to Omaha, Nebraska. And we, we are exploring what the journey has been and, and what Mama Lee's is bringing here to Omaha, Nebraska. Now, can you be specific about uh, some of the recipes that you use there? And I don't give any secrets out, but what, what, what is the main, you know, recipe you use there? Um, the recipe that, that I use is, you know, every food has its recipe. Right. And there are something that we say, kitchen tips. Yes. Yeah. So, I mean, you being a woman cooking, let's say if you want to make um, wachi. Right. It has to look really good. Right. That now, now, how did you call that? Wachi. Wachi. Yeah. Well, what is that? It's... Um, rice and beans right. put together and then we have leaves that we add to it and it gives it a very very good color okay yeah watch it and we have a special stew that we eat with you can eat with shito right then we have the spaghetti we have gari and then we mix it with some salad oh Whoa. goodness very <laughs> yum <laughs> Yes, it, it feels good just, just listening and, and watching. I can see the joy and, and I can just feel the love in, in, in what you do, uh, which, which I believe uh, uh, it's, it's what brings the flavor in the food. I mean, if you cook with love, it makes everything taste good. Mm -hmm. So uh, for those watching us today and, and just finding out about Mama Lee's, can you talk to us about how, how do we get in contact with you? Uh, what's, I mean, do, do you guys deliver? Uh, what are the services you know, to bring the food to the people, especially with COVID being out there now? Well, with the uh, COVID being out there, so we deliver food to people, to their houses, or sometimes they tell us, meet me at this place, and we give it to them. Right. So that is what we do. Okay. Yeah, in this time. But uh, if you want to pick it up, too, that's fine. Right. Excellent. That's fine. So, so uh, I mean, again, I, I, like to, I, like to, I like to talk about the people working there, right? Because it, it's, it's all about also making sure that you create an environment that, that, is, that is good for the people that work with you, right? So a lot of, you know, when we visit African restaurants, there's this tendency of, of you know, only seeing people from African, you know, just from Africa. Um, how has been the reception from natives, Nebraska, Nebraskans? I mean, are you, you know, embracing everybody else there, or is it just people from home, and how, how is that working? Well, uh, you know that people here don't like spicy food. Right. So, 
I quite remember one um, Thanksgiving, I cooked for one white lady. It's kind of like a dinner. Right. So they invited us to join them to have the Thanksgiving together. Right. So it was a lot of people in there. So I made fried rice and jollof rice, mm -hmm. and I did some chicken. And I was there, and then they called me like, oh, can you make us like a pan of rice, a pan of this, a pan of that? And I was like, these people don't like spicy food, so how come? They said, it is not party at all. Right. There is no spicy in that food. The food is really good. We right. like it. Right. So if you want to cook for people in America here, yes. you don't think about only we the Africans. Right. Because we are trying to let everybody try their food. That's right. So we are checking on the pepper too. Right. If they, are, if they don't like it too spicy, then we have to do it like Imagine when you are cooking for somebody that the person doesn't want too much salt. Right. And another person wants too much salt. Then this is the way that you have to make it moderate. Right. Then everybody can eat it. Yes. So that is what we are going for. Lydia, do you consider yourself a success story in a culinary environment? <laughs> Frankly. <laughs> I do. <laughs> well, congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, the, the reason why I ask this question is because, you know, we, we like to use this platform to, again, like I said earlier, to inspire uh, the younger generation or uh, somebody out there within the community that has an idea such as yours that is trying to do something. We want to we make them feel that it's within reach. It's possible. So if you were to look at somebody right now who's thinking about, you know, starting their own cuisine or something like that, what, what would be your piece of advice to that person? Well, my, my, um, a little bit of um, advice that I would throw it out there is that when you are cooking, cook for everybody. Right. Because see, sometimes people even watch Facebook and YouTube and all that. I, I recall it was um, last week, and I went to work, and one lady said, oh, my goodness, I had fufu yesterday. Right. And she's a white lady. And I'm like, fufu? <laughs> she said, yeah, I saw people eating it, so I, I wanted to go out there and right. try it. And so there was one um, African restaurant here in Omaha, and they went there, she herself with her husband and then her little one, to wow. eat fufu there. Wow. And they said, oh my goodness, we didn't know the food was good. Right. Right. So it's like sometimes we, we, we place ourselves in a small corner, like we think like we can go for it. Yes. We don't know who is out there, who is ready to try the food. That's right. We don't know. So once we are pushing the food to everybody, once when there is program, mix it. Bring some food of white people, black people, and let everybody enjoy each other's food. Yes. And by the time that you realize they are eating our food and we are eating their food too. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So especially in, in this, you know, uh, increasingly globalizing world where ultimately the entire world is turning into a planetary village, right? It's, it's all of people uh, uh, together and experiencing and sharing, you know, their cultures and, and, and food to me. It's like a language. It's, it's the vehicle by excellence of a culture. And I, I want to believe that Mama Lee's is bringing a, a unique flavor here in, in Nebraska. And, and what, what are your perspective for the future? How, how, how big do you see Mama Lee's growing here in town? Well, uh, my wish for this business is I will see this as, as a big restaurant. Right. It's, it's not like right now. If you want to look at um, McDonald's and Taco Bell, you see how big it is, right. and it's not only one branches. Right. So we are praying that this business will move from grace to grace. Right. By the time that we realize, we have one in Papillon, one in Bellevue, right. one, one do, in Lincoln, do, do, everywhere. This is a hard, a hard bench question. Do you see any competitor here in town? Well, we 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 are all Africans that right. we are cooking good food. Right. So if everybody wants to talk about their kitchen, they will say, I cook good food. I right. cook, but there is a phrase that says, let the, let the food do the talking. <laughs> so you <laughs> say it with your talking. mouth, and then right. once the food is there, then the food will do the talking. <laughs> exactly. And I, I don't have to talk. Excellent. The food will just do the well, talking. Well, we, we'll, let, we'll let the food do the talking then, <laughs> right? <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, once again, we are here in Horizonte Africa, and we're receiving Lydia Apia, known as Mama Lee's. She is the owner of Mama Lee's Kitchen here in Omaha, Nebraska. And, and we're talking about the food. We're talking about the experience of Ghana's cuisine here in Omaha, Nebraska, and the perspectives of Mama, Mama Lee's cuisine becoming one of the biggest, if not the largest, uh, food uh, place here in, in Nebraska. So Lydia, I come back to you again. We'll this question. I mean, uh, I love to eat, right? I, I, I'm from Africa. I'm from Gabon, and, and I know food, 
right? So, but the, the, uh, uh, how, how do you, how do you, uh, how do you make me, I mean, how do you invite somebody here in Nebraska who has never tested what African food is like? What, what can be, what can be an expectation for a person walking into Mama Lee's ki kitchen? What, what, what are they expecting? Well, uh, when, they, when they are coming to your kitchen for the first time, we always say that first impression is very important. Correct. So the way you present the food is very, very important. Right. And the way you, you even receive the person. How is very important, important though? How important is it to look at a meal and, and be like, this looks good? How important is that? That is why I said how you present the food. Right. I mean, the way you have the food in the plate, the way the finishing, the way you have garnished the food looks so presentable. Right. But if the person is coming and things are anyhow, it's kind of like it, it even brings the appetite down like right. the person is not going to eat anymore. Right. But once you present the food nicely, neatly done, right. then it's good to go. Perfect. And Lydia, again, I, I was talking about, you know, uh, you know, this person watching out there and probably this is a question that comes so often. I mean, uh, do I have to have a college degree to be able to cook? just like you do at Mama Lee's. You, 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 don't, you don't have to. It's, it's like you being a wife and cooking. Right. You don't have to get a degree before you cook. Right now, if you really want to cook, it's like we have different cultures and different backgrounds that we are all in here. Right. Yeah, people had people that were in their houses that cook for them. Right. So right now they are even married, but they don't even know how to cook. Right. You don't need a degree before you can cook. YouTube is there, Facebook is there. There are a lot of recipes. Right. Once you are able to learn, once you are able to cook, because when you put recipes out there, people even tell you like, oh, thank you. This is something that has really helped me. Right. Because I was doing this and I wasn't getting it. I was right. doing this and the taste wasn't good as the way you do it. Excellent. But right now, I'm just getting the perfect taste. So it's, it's all being, um, don't feel shy. Put your cast on the table, ask for it. <laughs> <laughs> right, don't be shy, get out there and, and, and get into the cooking business. So Lydia, now, now, more specifically for, for our viewers that are just tuning in uh, and we're talking about Mama Lee's Kitchen, what, what are some of the food in your menu? Like, what, what do I see when I come there? What, what, what can you, you know, guest comes in, sits down, you hand them a menu to them, what are you telling them, what are you showing them? I mean, right now, as I'm, I'm even sitting here right now, <laughs> Jollof rice is cooking, white is cooking. Right. So we have, we cook these African meals. Fufu, we do it. Right. We make some light soup, some palm nut soup. We do okra stew. Right. We do, um, um, we don't have the, con the actual contemporary here, but we do use the spinach to do the contemporary stew. Right. Mixed with a goosey. I don't know if you know a goosey. My, I'm an African. Yeah, I, I gotta so, know Igusi. So, <laughs> so you know, you know how well Igusi and Kontombe yes. and those salmons and those fishes goes in there. It's very good. Right. So we try to put all those things together to do some Spanish stew. Right. We do okra stew for people. You know, we have a lot of uh, Togolese people here. They love it. Right. So we try to put that one together for them too, and we have apice. Mm -hmm. So the apice you can cook like the yam, the plantains, and you, it goes with the kontombe too. I mean, we have a lot of food. Now, can I eat oxtail? Oh, yes. Okay. You sold me. Yes. I'll be there for sure. <laughs> for sure. Excellent. Well, uh, Lydia, thank you so much for being here and sharing about uh, Mama Lee's Kitchen. Um, it's, it's a beautiful initiative. We, we're proud of what you do, and, 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 and we're seizing this platform here, and we want you to look at these people out there and, and tell your word, tell your heart to the people watching you today. Well, I have a lot of fans, I have a lot of supporters, I have a lot of customers, I have a lot of families, church members, and all that. Me sitting here too, I go to Church of Pentecost. Right. So we also go out there to do evangelism and all that. So through even the cooking, we are just um, inviting people to the church. I'm just saying hi to all of them because they have been so uh, supportive to me right. with their prayers and all that. And um, it's not only about African, African, African food. We do pastries. Right. Like when you're having a wedding, birthday parties or graduations, and you don't like, right, right now that in this COVID, that you don't want to serve heavy food, we do pastries and it goes with drinks. Right. So, I mean, we got it all. You got it all. So 
thanks for um, all of you for your service and all that. We see many people putting orders in Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp, and all that. We are so grateful for all the services. We love you all. Thanks, we love man. you all. And we know with your help, we are moving forward. Amen. We are moving forward. Amen to that. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much again for tuning. This is Frank, and we are here in Horizon Africa program, of course, and via African TV, broadcasting here out of Omaha, Nebraska, in Thomas Sankara Studio. Today, I had Lydia Apia, known as Mama Lee's Kitchen, one of uh, Omaha's best in uh, culinary. She's bringing the cuisine from Ghana, West, West Africa, to the heart of America here in mm -hmm. Omaha, Nebraska. We're inviting all of you, if you're in town, if you're traveling by, make sure you're stopping at Mama Lee's Kitchen and get you that taste of Africa. Travel to Africa without a visa, and that's what we offer here. Yep. Thanks again. Horizon Africa, a production of Kwasambia African TV, bridging Africa to the world. Today's show was sponsored by Mama Lee's Kitchen Food and Services, where you can get the best African food. Pickups, delivery available.